Brainy Dose presents 13 Steps to Self-Care Tips for a Better You The world can be a stressful place. In our everyday lives, we have to contend with pressure from school, work, or even friends and family. It's not uncommon to feel like we're being pulled in a million different directions. And over time, the stresses of everyday life begin to wear on us. Sooner or later, this can have a negative effect. We can see our work start to slip. Maybe our friends or family feel we are becoming more distant, or perhaps we start feeling overtired and sick. The good news is that there is a solution. It's self-care. This is a powerful process with far-reaching positive effects. Research has shown that those who focus on self-care are found to be more in touch with their creative and productive side, meaning better decision-making skills and an overall boost in confidence. As a result, they communicate more effectively and build stronger relationships. In this video, we've compiled some simple and practical self-care tips you can start practicing today. Number one, stop hitting the snooze button. Getting up early can be tough. That's why a lot of people try and ease their way out of sleep by using the snooze button on their alarm clocks to grab an extra five minutes of sleep. The reality, however, is that using the snooze button actually makes you more tired. You're not able to settle into a proper sleep pattern before your alarm needs to be snoozed again. And this creates a restless, incomplete pattern at the start of your day, making you feel overtired. Experts in the field of sleep agree that the best solution is to set your alarm for the time that you know you need to be up for. And while this may seem harsh at first, it will set up a solid sleep schedule that your body can adapt to, leading you to feel more rested and refreshed overall. Number two, learn to anticipate problems before they arise. Starting your morning with a negative experience can cast a shadow over the day, leaving you to focus on negative feelings. But this can be avoided. Take a minute at the beginning of your day to look ahead for potential stress points. Are you pushing off some work or other commitments because they seem like too much trouble? Making your schedule jam-packed? Maybe you're skipping breakfast to get to work on time, leaving you to play catch-up on your lunch break. Put some time aside, be realistic, and plan out your schedule. There's plenty of stresses in everyday life, but with proper planning, you can at least minimize them. Number three, ask yourself what you need. This tip is simple but many people struggle with it. You need to focus on your needs. The reality that looking after yourself is important. The best way to hold yourself to this is to make things simple. Experts recommend using the effective acronym HALT as a reminder to check if you are hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. If you try and ignore your needs, whether they are physical or emotional, you're just setting yourself up for a fallout of negativity. The solution is to truly put time and effort into listening to what you need to better care for yourself. Number four, become emotionally aware. Emotional intelligence is a crucial and often overlooked skill, but it is deeply important to our development. Getting in touch with your emotions and learning to express them fluently will strengthen your bonds with others. A better understanding of your own emotions will help you better relate to another person's emotional state helping you be a better friend. Focusing on your emotional intelligence will also help you through trying times, while strengthened empathy will allow you a deeper understanding of others, solidifying and reinforcing your relationships. Number five, spend some time alone. An important aspect of self-care is taking a solid amount of time out of your day or week to do whatever you want. Whether it's a bit of self-reflection, reading a good book, or watching that show you've been meaning to catch up on. Believe it or not, even your trip to work can be a space for me time. Why not listen to an audiobook or podcast, or just enjoy the sounds of the city? When you relax, your body actually has the ability to lower cortisol and adrenaline, as well as increase serotonin and dopamine production, meaning that you'll go from feeling stressed to relaxed and even happy. Number six, seek out happy people. Have you ever had the experience of seeing someone laugh and you felt their laughter was almost contagious? This is because humans' emotions are directly influenced by the people they are around. You can literally absorb emotions from others. So of course, the best choice is to try and be close to people with positive and happy vibes. 
It may not be possible to always be close to happy people, but even being near positive people will help you feel better as you go about your day. The best thing about absorbing someone's happy attitude is that you can even pass it on to another person, so it's a win-win. Number 7. Cook at home. It's easy to default to food that is quick to prepare over what is nutritionally sound, especially after a particularly hard day. But the time saved by cutting corners on the easy meals takes a toll. You're left with lackluster meals that don't truly satisfy your hunger or nourish your body. Try and set some time aside in the week to make a healthy meal. You can even invite friends over to make it a more sociable night in. If you're worried about your cooking skills, the internet has countless tutorials to help you. Number 8. Have a power nap. I know, you probably think this sounds crazy. What's a nap going to do on a hectic day? Well, it may just be the thing your body needs. A power nap can make all the difference, as your body and mind get a chance to rest and bounce back from the day's stress. An uninterrupted nap, as short as 20 minutes, is actually enough to recharge your batteries for the next few hours. And the best thing about it is that it won't disrupt your usual sleep pattern. Number 9. Get a massage. Contrary to what you may believe, a massage isn't just for people at fancy resorts or sports stars recovering from an injury. They are beneficial for a whole host of reasons, helping your body and mind relax as stress is released. Massages can even lower your blood pressure, making them an ideal choice if you're dealing with anxiety or depression. And you won't have to break the bank to get a massage. Check your local area for massage schools that offer lower price choices, or check in with your community's health fair. You can also look for tutorials on the internet and learn to give yourself a massage. Alternatively, you can invest in one of those self-massagers. Number 10. Get moving. Sometimes, people can feel frozen or disconnected when they're dealing with high levels of stress. But by being active, you can shake yourself out of it and get back on track. Go for a bike ride, swim a few laps, or simply head out for a walk or a light jog. These cyclical and rhythmic movements will bring you back to the here and now, freeing you from being miles away in your mind, so you can get yourself out of the slump caused by stress. Number 11. Find your flow. Everyone has something they love to do, some kind of skill or hobby that they could spend hours on and still enjoy. When you feel passionate about something, it engages you fully, keeping you focused, boosting your confidence, and reassuring you of your own ability. It doesn't even matter what your hobby is, be it painting, writing, or even making origami, as long as it's a hobby that genuinely engages you and one that you truly enjoy. Number 12. Get away. It's okay to take a break, and you don't have to wait until things get too stressful at home or in the workplace. In fact, it's a much better idea to regularly schedule some kind of getaway. This way, you'll have something to look forward to on tough days. This doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can simply go to a neighboring town, visit some of your family members, or have a camp out with friends. What you're trying to do is change things up. Break from the usual routine, and you may just be surprised at what you find. Number 13. Ask for help. If you just keep adding more and more to your plate, you will only end up making yourself feel overwhelmed. It's okay to ask for help from those around you. It's not a sign of weakness. Maybe you're not feeling up to hanging out with your friends over the weekend. Or maybe you need an extension from your boss. If you speak up and explain your position clearly, you may be surprised at how understanding others are. Looking after yourself is not selfish, it's necessary. Only by bringing balance and understanding to all aspects of your life can you change for the better. Self-care isn't a side project or something you can just catch up on later. It's a deeply important choice that is known to affect every aspect of life, from personal to professional, from the mental to the physical. In solitude, you can reflect on the issues you may be facing and figure out ways to navigate them. With others, you can feel free to relax and step away from stress, nourishing your relationships and boosting your connections. The more you can work self-care into your schedule, the better you'll be able to grow and thrive. We want to know what you think. Share your thoughts in comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. 
For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.